Good morning, Warren. What up, Jake? Not a whole lot. What about yourself? Alright. Good. Ready for a good day? Absolutely. Alright, let's go. <sighs> New cologne? Yeah, yeah. What do you what do you think? You know, I actually like this one. It smells clean. Professional is maybe the word actually. Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus. I feel like I've heard of that. It sounds expensive. <laughs> it was. Oh, well, I'm sure. Now, don't forget your bag. Do you have everything you need? Yep. All right, let's go. Have a great day, okay? All right, we'll see you. Basketball game. Shoot. Uh, tomorrow night. Oh yeah. So, I was just curious. There is. That figures. Ashley's crazy. Yeah, she is. You know, I bet she did it on purpose. She probably did. What happened? Um, Ashley Martin. Do you know her? I don't really know. Well, I'm not gonna say too much, but rumor has it she sabotaged a bunch of her friends over a crush or something. It was probably over you, Warren. Honestly, it probably was. <laughs> but you don't even know her. Who else would she have a crush on? Blake Jones? <laughs> Ew. Weren't you guys like lab partners last semester or something? I don't remember. Well, you're probably right. I probably was. What are you talking about? Yeah, Ashley, I think she's in you. How disappointing for her. <laughs> It'll be nice. What about you? What about me? Hey, what about you? Sorry, I missed the conversation. Do you have your eyes on anyone? No, I don't really got time for it right now. Yeah, right. Shut up, dude. Well, if you wanted to, you could ask out any girl here and she'd say yes in a heartbeat, you know. It's my face, isn't it? It's your money. <laughs> it's his daddy's money. Oh my gosh. I get an allowance, so technically it's my money. Wait, I thought your face was enough. <laughs> we weren't talking about that anymore. 
We can if you want to. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Warren, what does your dad do? Um, banking, investment, portfolio, I don't. It's all over my head. So what you're saying is that it's boring and you really don't care. Bingo. Well, Mr. Warren, not sure what all that was about, but how was your day? Long. Long? Okay, was it math or something else? All of it. All of it? Okay. Okay, well, let's get you home. Yeah? Uh, no, Jay, let's get that. I want a new watch. Yes, sir. So you want another new watch? Yes. You just got one like a week ago, but okay, we could head out on the weekend and we'll find you a new watch. No, Jake, I, I want a new watch. Like, now? Yes. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. All right, let's get you another new watch. I know it's confusing, this is super high maintenance, but what are you gonna do? Mr. Warren! <sighs> now tell me, what took you so long? Check this out. The oh. weight on these things? It's like a year. This is a Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date Submarina Two-Ton. Of course. Now yeah. they usually go for like 34 grand. Oh I know. Last name Gray, got it for 18. Will your dad be okay with that? Um, you know what? I'll put on I'll put on the silver one when I get home. So. Okay, sounds good. Do you want me to put this in the family safe? Or? Uh, actually, yeah. If you could, yeah. okay. give me a fancy little case with it. All right, Rowan. All right, you must be hungry. Should we get going? Absolutely. All right, let's go. I could have got that for you. Warren? Well, I'll have dinner ready in two and a half hours when your father gets back. If you care.
Hey, you ready for supper? Yeah, in a second. All right, five minutes, okay? All right. So, school was good? It was fine. Was it? Yeah, I guess. Here, help me understand something. What? Something bothering you? No. Nope. Something you're not telling me? I'm fine. Right. So here's my question. You're fine. I'm good. Good. Now, you have everything you could possibly want, right? Right? Sure, I guess. And if you want anything, all you have to do is ask Jake or Elaine and they bring that thing to you. And you have friends, like DJ. What's your point? My point is that everything I do for you, I do it because I love you. Why can't you just be happy? I am happy. <laughs> when you're not happy, anyone can see that. Okay, I'm not ecstatic all of the time. Why do you think that is? I don't, I don't know. I don't care. It's like a mood thing. Quit analyzing me. Fine. I'm sorry. I just want you to be happy. You only have a few more years left and then you'll be out in the real world. And in the real world, you'll find that sometimes you don't get what you want just because you have money. That's, that's not true. All anyone wants in the real world is money. You think all I want is money? I mean, generally. Like, I know you care about more things than just money. Good. Money isn't all it's cracked up to be, Warren. Can't buy you happiness. Can't make you a fulfilled person. Can't even keep you safe. Obviously, it didn't keep your mother safe. Would you like me to bring dessert in now? Yes, please, Elaine. Oh, and should I clear anything off the table? You can take mine. Oh, don't, don't take it yet. I'll finish it. Okay. What? It was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Just one more thing. What? I know it's been a while, and I don't know. I'd just like you to come to church with me on Sunday morning. I think you'd enjoy it. Maybe. No pressure, just think about it, okay? Mm-hmm. Can I take this with me? Yeah, go ahead. Just do your homework. Mm-hmm. Good night.
Yep. Works. Business as usual. Uh, speaking of, I am the little thing I'm working on. I'll be gone at like 10, but I won't be back until late tonight. Okay. You'll be good? What's this? Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. I shouldn't just leave this stuff laying around. Uh, it's a little, little project I'm working on. I picked up a property to help me with it. What kind of project? Just a, just a project. We talked about this. It's just better if you don't ask a lot of questions about what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you, you're good. Mm -hmm. Great. So we just gonna wait here? Nah. How does he see through all that? Eh. He's just a rich schmuck. There we go. Come on. Should we get him some water? What are we, his room service? Morning, sunshine. The boy speaks. Let's go in. It's a question. Who are you? It's another question. Am I? Am I ducky? He's slow too. Still not with him, huh? What was that? There he is. What's going on? Check your tongue, kid. You're not in charge here. What'd you just call me? And he's deaf too. I called you a kid. What are you gonna do? File a complaint with the Child Protection Services? <laughs> Listen, my dad's gonna find oh, you. Here we go. He's gonna lock you up for the rest of your miserable little lives. Uh huh, uh huh. Dude, do you know what position you're in here? What's going on? Are you just gonna keep repeating yourself? It's obnoxious. Tell me what's going on. Make up. What is this? Hostage situation? Ransom. What? A ransom situation. Okay, okay. You two are holding me for ransom. Wow. He is even more of an idiot than I thought. What? So you think I got a brief on this? Let me make one thing very clear. You are not in charge. My daddy's gonna mess you guys up! Your daddy's not gonna save you. <sighs> well, you're all gonna go to prison Shut up! for the rest of your life! <sighs> your dad is a rich snob! <sighs> Just like you and your pathetic friends. <sighs> your dad is gonna pay my boss money <sighs> to save your pathetic life if he cares at all. But until then, you're here. With uh, us. And if you don't do what uh, I say, uh, we are going to kill you. Uh, 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 Mm-hmm. 
Mr. Warren. Mr. Warren. Great. So what do you need me to do? Police are on their way? Yeah, yeah, I called them as soon as you got out. Right, I want a detective involved in this. I need every square inch of the state searched. If nothing turns up, we'll have to get the state police involved. We'll have yeah. to get every agency. Okay, you got it, yeah. I'll give them access to the house, uh, full access to the property line, anything else? Except one thing. So? The note. Sorry, I don't understand. They can't know about the note. It's the name on the note. You said you took care of this guy. I thought I did, him and everyone else, but apparently I didn't, all right? This is bad. It is. So what, is this some sort of a revenge then? It is, but he knows I can't give up the note. Well, why not? Is it investors? Is it, what is it? It's trust. He knows I can't lose that. Listen, my past is behind me. Well, it's not anymore. For now it is. I can meet his demands without giving myself away. Or better yet, the feds will find him. Okay, well, will he call you? He'll call, and we'll negotiate. Okay, so just so I understand, right now, it's a hostage situation disguised as a kidnapping. Yeah. And you won't tell him about the note? No, no, sir. Good. That's why I hired you. Now let's take care of it. Hired you anyway. Just say he needs to know you're dead. How much are you paying? More than your allowance. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Just no. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. It's probably broke. Business going on, dude. But. Like, <sighs> When it comes to being a businessman, this man is 10 times better of a businessman than your dad. Why does he need to hold me for ransom? Let's just say there might be some uh, more personal reasons than money. That's pathetic. I'm just doing my job. Don't really much care what he thinks. Hi. Hey. Got the stuff? Yep. Got myself some too. Oh, nice. You got yeah, yeah, I got spoons. Lots of them. Okay, sorry. It's a little melted. Probably more like a lot melted. <laughs> Bro, what did you? Sorry. Okay, you know what? Let's just get it when we get back. Yep. Good idea. Ready to go? Yep. Hey, what's up? Have you seen Warren lately? Warren? No. 
Yeah, no. Wait, why? Um, I think Warren was kidnapped. What do you mean he got kidnapped? No, oh, that's what she said. Like, so weird. Who would want Warren? <laughs> yeah, who would kidnap anybody in general? Like, that seems like a... Especially Warren. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> do you think I mean, she, the money. Do you think she was prank calling you? Oh, what? that's probably what it is. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Well, let me know if you hear anything more. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll check in with her tonight again. Sounds good. Want your melted ice cream? <laughs> oh, pass. Probably not while you drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, you guys have food and snacks the last year a couple days. It might take that long. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, so that drone has a live camera on it. You should be able to keep track of things, but don't use it unless you have to. I want to kind of lay low. Yeah. So, yeah, how did that propofol work? Yeah, good. Good. It was a huge pain to modify. Okay. Yeah, well, good. All right. All right, hey, listen, I probably won't get out there until five or six, okay? All right, yeah, bye. Sorry, Jack. Got a little project I'm working on on the side. What's up? All right. Obviously, I don't like to bother you with the smaller stuff. That's a good policy. So generally in this department, uh, you're, you're pretty much set because uh, dealers have been discreet, transportation, settled, supply has been like meeting demand, it's great. That's... Great news, what's up? So I just wanted to be very, very clear on some changes to your paperwork, uh, specifically the, the payroll. Um, one of our guys dropped off. We'll be picking up a new one like within the next week, so don't even worry about it, but uh, he'll, we'll, we'll be switching that up. So just wanted you to be aware of that. Someone's dropping off the payroll. Mm -hmm. Wanna elaborate on that? He, he retired. Decided it was time to retire. Oh, he's retired. I didn't... Are you holding... Are you hiring 60-year-olds now? Why is he retiring? He's... I don't, I don't know. He just felt it was time, I guess. Oh, does he feel like we're not going to pay him? Or... No. Is he no. afraid of getting caught? No. Or no. Well, I Is mean, he working for somebody else? Uh, no, a... of course not. I, I mean, as far as getting caught, I mean, I assume that's just part of the trade. And everyone worries about that. So, no, I don't feel like... Jack, no one from your department gets to retire. Okay? There's, there's only three reasons why they leave. They're old. We have dirt on them, so they're going to keep their mouth shut. Or they're dead. No exceptions. Well, if, if someone were to get arrested, that would be an exception, right? You know what we have to do if someone goes to prison, right? Listen, Jack, I mean, I need you to take care of this. Otherwise, we have a, a big problem on our hands. Listen, he's a... Uh... He's out of town by this point. He, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to find him. Well, then we have a big problem on our hands. Wait, I'll, I'll find him. I'll, I'll figure out a way. I'll track him down. All right? Good. That's why I like you so much, Jack. Listen, on a different note, this project that I'm working on is going to take me a couple days, so I'd rather not be bothered. Okay? Fine. Great. And sir, is there anything else we can do in the meantime to help? Oh, Elaine, thanks for coming. Oh, Jake, this is awful. What is happening? Yeah, look, law enforcement's on it, so is the PI, but nothing here help, unfortunately. Are there any leads? Uh, no. Oh, Jake, I know about the note. Uh, we're still waiting for a phone call. Mr. Gray? Uh, Lane, sorry for all the chaos this morning. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It will be all right. I believe it will be all right. Okay, fun fact. Cut off circulation to a person's hands. Completely useless, and just stop working. Oh, good. Just useless dead things flapping on my arms.
I, I don't think it works that way. They actually might even fall off. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. Whoa, rich boy can read. It's not the vibe I got from you when we first kidnapped you. <laughs> He's got a point. Oh my gosh. My dad's gonna have a field day with you guys when this deal goes through. And your boss. And you know what? When you guys get sentenced for life, I'm gonna get a part-time job as a jailer, tie you guys up to a chair, but with rope, and it's gonna suck. I've been to prison. You come near either of us with a rope, and you're dead. How am I not surprised? You know, you look nervous. I'm not nervous, but you should be. Mr. Santorino has the kind of power you can't buy. You can buy anything. Oh, really? Is that why you're here, tied up to a chair, unable to leave until he says so? You, with all your wealth and your, your potential, it isn't about who has more money. It's power. You're just a spoiled brat with a superiority complex. Money won't change that. It will just amplify it. I don't have a superiority complex. Oh yeah? I... <laughs> Okay, that was just to me. Oh, it was intended that way. Rich boy got his feelings hurt. What are you gonna go do? Go cry to mommy? Oh wait, she's dead. Cancer got to her before Mr. Santorino could, huh? Oof. Evening, boys. Evening, sir. How are we holding up? Doing all right. Nothing to report. I hear they're going crazy over there. Multiple private investigators, private security team, but no FBI. They don't want them looking into this. There he is. You don't look anything like him. Are you sure you guys are related? Take after your mom. I never met her. I heard she was great. Unlike your dad. Warren Gray. Warren, what's your middle name? What's your middle name? Joseph. Joseph. Warren Joseph Gray. That has a certain ring to it. What's your name? My name is Mac Santorino. Have you heard of that name before? No. Well, I'm not surprised. How are you feeling, Warren Joseph Gray? Ooh. Don't take my watch. Ooh. You don't take my watch. This looks pretty cool. Give me my watch back. It looks expensive. It was. Now give it back. Nick. Catch. Nick, I swear you better give that back. Mine now. What was that? You can talk freely with me. I'm not gonna hurt you. you. Guys already did that. They did? Oh, I didn't say anything about that. You know my dad. I do. We were business partners. Long time ago, back in the day. About 20 years ago. Business partners? Mm-hmm. Business didn't go so well? Business did not go very well. It was doing great, till your dad sunk it. Bad deal. It was intentional. Oh, so this is just a big revenge thing. I wouldn't say it's a revenge thing. Then what would you say? I would say that your dad has $10 million that I could have had if he hadn't messed the whole thing up, and now I have you. And we're just gonna trade for what's rightfully mine. So. Yeah, I, I guess it is kind of a revenge thing. Wait, right, just to clarify, you've had a chip on your shoulder for the last 20 years and kidnapped me just to get back my dad. That's pathetic. Don't make fun of me. Make me. Jeez, you're old. Can I trust you to be okay while I make this phone call? Put that phone anywhere near me, I'll bite your hand off. And you can't, you can't trust me to do anything. <laughs> I, I do not love this kid. <laughs> Fair enough.
Yeah. Hey, Daniel. Where's my son, Jared? It's been a long time. 22 years, my friend. How have you been? Where is Warren? I've been keeping track of you. But it's nice to finally catch up. I thought you were dead. <laughs> you thought I was dead, but you never bothered to check up. That was a mistake. I did check again and again. I know. Hoping and praying I was dead. Even thinking I was. But I'm not. I'm back. And now you have Warren. Yeah. Yeah. Your son is kind of a punk. How dare you? It's all just because I wronged you in the past. It was like 20 years ago, Jared. How dare I? How dare I? How dare you? You could have just resigned like a normal person. Or like a good partner, signed everything over. But no. You let the whole thing collapse around all of us. Listen. And you let all of us take the fall for your mistakes. Hey. You remember, Daniel, you were just as bad as the rest of us. That's on you. How dare I? I have every right to do what I'm doing right now. You think you have the moral high ground. How dare I? Don't get a nosebleed on that high horse of yours. You're a hypocrite. You're a snitch and you're a liar. And unless you want all of that exposed, You'll do what I tell you to do. You want $10 million? Correct. You'll wire it to us. I'll send the information over tomorrow. Okay. You want $10 million. I can get it for you. That's fine by me. But I'll need 48 hours. You can have as much time as you need within two days. And you better not hurt him. I'd better not? Daniel, you don't seem to understand what's going on here. I have all the power in this. When you walked away, I started from scratch, and what I have built is bigger than you could ever imagine. You don't know anything about me. You can go ahead and go to the feds. You tell them my name. You think that's still my name? You think that I still have anything that I used to have? None of it. It's all gone. I don't exist. I'm a ghost. You know nothing about me. You have nothing on me. And you need to remember that if you're ever going to see your son again. Why couldn't you just leave things the way they were? You said it yourself. Why can't you just leave us alone? Because we weren't even. Now we're even. I have to talk to him first. Do we have a deal? Not until I talk to him. I asked you a question. Do we have a deal? Put Warren on the phone. All right. I'll let you talk to him. I assume you were joking about biting my hand. No promises. Dad? Warren, are you doing all right? Are you hurt? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get you home, Warren. All right, I'm gonna get them the money. Okay, and I'm gonna get you home, okay? Uh, I'm gonna get them the money and everything will be all right. How soon can you get me out of here? Less than two days. Hopefully by Monday afternoon. Monday? I'm sorry, Warren. I have to stay here for another two days? Warren, listen to me. I I barely made it through today. Listen to me. I I, I don't have everything they're asking for in liquid cash. I ha I have to sell stocks and everything else. Forget forget everything else. Okay, I can't I can't stay here. I they're abusive and I don't. You can't you can't leave me here. Well, I think that's enough. What did you do to him, Jared? I didn't do anything. I swear. What was he talking about? Your son is fine. He better be. You will have the money to me within 48 hours. I want another call with Warren tomorrow night. No promises. All right then, 48 hours. You think you boys can tolerate that? As long as we're getting paid. Great. Still have to talk about the transfer, making sure that goes smoothly. Any questions? Can we keep him sedated? <laughs> oh, you're serious. I want to talk to both of you privately. You mind if we step up? You don't care, you're tied up. Let's go. I'm sure you're wondering how we're gonna return the kid. We were thinking we'd uh, sedate him, but I don't know. It's too sloppy. 
and pointless. Pointless. Yeah, we're not actually exchanging the kid and the money on site. Once I have the money transferred to me, kill him. Kill him? Yeah, I was gonna do it now, but his dad might want to talk to him before I get the cash. And then... How do you want it done? I don't care. Just as long as it doesn't trace back to me. Yes, sir. Nick, are we uh, we good? We're not gonna have any issues, are we, Nick? Nick. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll kill him. Good. I knew I could count on you guys. Main Street, met up with April. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Great. There's this kid from my school. His name's Warren. I heard he got kidnapped or something. Kidnapped? Yeah. That's that's awful. Do you uh do you know him well? Not really. From everything I've heard, he's kind of a jerk. Hmm. Still sad though. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, I hope, I hope they find him. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just got home. I gotta take this. Okay. Hey, I do not love phone calls in the evening. What is up? No. 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 No, this is not yours to handle. I do the handling. You do the obeying orders. Okay, well, then this had better be an emergency. No, I told you that the PIs will be off the case soon. Give it a couple of hours. Don't... No. I understand your concerns. But like I said, I have it handled. Yes. Listen, Mr. Gray didn't get to where he is by being an idiot. He'll take them off, okay? I know how this works. Just be patient. All right, don't call me again. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. can't kill him. Why not? Because it isn't what we signed up for. He's just a kid. Do you know what we signed up for? I know what we signed up for. Because we're currently holding him hostage. No, I know what we signed up for. It's just, it's different. It's extreme. And we made a deal. Oh. <laughs> so everything we've done, the kidnapping, the drugging, etc. That's okay. But because we're breaking a deal, you're out? He's just a kid. A spoiled narcissistic brat. That makes you think it's okay to kill him? It's not about what's okay and what's not okay, Nick. I thought when we took this job, you understood that. Killing a teenager is too far. There has to be some other way. Doesn't matter, man. We have orders, and we have to follow them. Please, think for yourself. We have choices. I know we're not the good guys in yes. this, but we should still draw the line at killing someone. Look, Nick, you don't have to kill him. I'll do it then you can have whatever remains of your imaginary conscience intact. Fine. Best of both worlds. And that doesn't bother you at all? No. No, it doesn't. Whatever, man.
so the board is ready to speak with you now. Would you like me to give you a ride there? I understand that taking all the necessary stocks public would be fatal to the company, so I have a proposal to make. What do you have for us? That I sell 10 million in stocks, evenly distributed among each of you. Mr. Gray, you understand that if your proposal goes through, you'll lose your majority share, correct? I understand that. Like what? Did you hear that? Hmm? Huh? Heard something outside. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. I think you should go check on it. Why don't you go check on it? Because I'm watching the kid go check on it. <sighs> Fine. the government is on corporations. What you're proposing could come into conflict- Stella, I understand your concerns and trust me, we're looking into the statutory restrictions as we speak. I just want something that's going to allow me to keep my seat on the board. I'm sure we can find a workaround. Okay, hey, 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 we can talk about this. I didn't, I didn't do anything, I've been- Sure. I need you to be really- Really smart with this. I mean really smart, okay? How did it go? There's some hiccups. Look, I have to get down to the office to sign a few papers and meet with individual members of the board. Can you drive me? Of course, sir. Do you think you'll be able to get the money in time? I think so. Not all the board members are cooperating, but the trick is going to be to take enough of the company public without sinking the boat. I'll inform Jake. Good.
Oh, 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 I want my phone call. That's hilarious. I want to talk to my dad. I don't give a rip what you want. You didn't just screw things up for me, you screwed things up for you. Look at that leg. It looks infected. Whose fault was that? Yours. You could have just sat here until we untied you and took you to your dad, but you had to get out and run. And how did he get out? I found this nail on the ground. A nail. And how did he get that? I think he got it when uh, this guy kicked him over under the floor. That was a very, very stupid thing to do. Yes, sir. And you, do you remember me telling you to check his tape every couple of minutes? Yes, sir. What are you doing instead? Reading a book? I hired you for a very specific reason. We got him back. Creed got him back. You were doing I don't even know what out in the woods and he ran right by you. Th that doesn't happen with good hired help. If you can't help, then I'll have to terminate you. T terminate? Like, can you define that, please? Use your imagination. And you, you got beat up by a 16-year-old trust fund baby who gets carded everywhere by his butler. How did that happen? In my defense, sir, I did shoot him. Congratulations. I want to call my dad. We're not talking about this right now. I'm not in the mood. You're not in the mood? I'm not in the mood. I need a hospital. You don't need a hospital. Tomorrow we'll get you to your dad, we'll take you to the hospital, and they'll fix you right up. Spoken like someone's never been shot before. You think I've never been shot before? Think again.
call my dad. We're not talking about this right now. I'm not in the mood. You're not in the mood? I'm not in the mood. I need a hospital. You don't need a hospital. Tomorrow we'll get you to your dad, take you to the hospital, and they'll fix you right up. Spoken like someone's never been shot before. You think I've never been shot before? Think again. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I hate to break it to you, Nick, but you can't stop me from doing anything. Sure I can. Look. It's just a gunshot to the head. Quick, pretty much painless. I just can't justify it. What? Let me get this straight. We can break into his house, drug him, kidnap him, tie him up, knock him around a little bit, and we're talking about justification right now. Justification to whom? The law? Mac is our boss. He is the only one we are accountable to. This isn't about the cops. It's about conscience. <laughs> Shut up. Everything we did, we did with the intent of returning him to his father. We had a deal. You ever killed someone before? Not intentionally, no. But the thought doesn't bother me. Mac has us wrapped around his little revenge scheme because Warren's dad did something he didn't like two decades ago. If we are responsible to him, we are responsible to a child. A spoiled, rotten brat. No. Warren is a spoiled, rotten brat. Mac is a grown man who might hold a grudge here and there. That's not a cause for concern. What's the alternative? We let Warren go? Nick. What? Did you give Warren that nail? No! Because if you did, I swear- I didn't! He must have picked it up when you kicked him over! You didn't? No, that wouldn't just be stupid, that would be suicidal! Yes, it would! Because I need to kill you! I'm just gonna let that comment slide! You're from my school. What are you doing here? Warren, is there anyone else here? Uh, no, 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 but they will be here soon. What, what are you doing here? They'll be like, they're, they're driving here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then they gotta get me out of here. Who did this? Answer my question first, or take the duct tape off and I'll answer everything later. What was the question? What are you doing here? It's a really long story. Before I do anything, I need to know who kidnapped you. Some dude, Mac Santorino, but his two other guys do the actual work. And they're driving here? Yes, that's why you need to get me out of here. Why are you whispering? They're here, aren't they? Get me out of here. Ah! Hands up! Go, 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 Who are you? Hands up! Shut up! I didn't know you guys were here, I'm sorry. That was stupid. Who are you? She's not stupid. This is Mac's daughter. What? what now? Please don't shoot me. Creep, quit pointing that thing at her. Hang on, guys. Shut up! What are you doing here? Creep, quit pointing that thing at her. If you shoot her, we're dead. Are you here for Mac? No, I am not here for him. I came to check things out, and now I'm going home. You're not going anywhere until you tell us why you're here. I don't have to tell you anything. I can leave whenever I want to. Sophie, I really wouldn't mess around right now if I were you. I thought Dad fired you. He didn't fire me. You two know each other? I know her too, and I got questions. Shut up, Warren! Yeah, we know each other. It's not important. I'm leaving. You're not leaving! If you shoot me, my dad will kill you. You're Max's daughter? Warren, I'll get to you in a second. Your dad won't be happy. Finds out you're here. I know. I'm gonna have to deal with my dad. 
Sophie, you really shouldn't leave here with before considering all of your options. It's not safe out there. It's not safe in here either. No, here you have immunity. What about him? Different story. Not really, it's pretty much the whole story. Warren, if you don't shut your mouth, I swear I'll shoot you in the other leg. What? It's a joke. No, it wasn't. Sophie, give me your keys and you can talk to Warren while I go talk to Creed. I would never give you my keys. Dude, she's not that stupid. Sophie, give me your keys. You can talk to Warren while I go and talk to Creed. You do want to talk to him, right? Only by the loosest definition of the word want. Fine. Do we have a deal? Just two minutes. Fine, but if you double cross me, my Trust way. me, I wouldn't risk it. So you're here to get me out of here, right? No, I'm not here for you. What? I'm not here for you. Then why are you here? For confirmation. No, I have it. I can go talk with my dad and get this whole thing straightened out. Straightened out as in get me out of here. I guess. What is it? This is perfect. This is literally the opposite of perfect, Nick. No. Oh. Sophie is our ticket out. Our ticket out? Yeah. Unless you want to keep working for Mac until he kills you. Mac's not going to kill me. What are you talking about? Sophie's our immunity. She breaks one free. One off the hook. What? He wasn't joking about your leg, was he? No, and that's why I need you to get me out of here. I need to, huh? Yes. I have been shot. I need medical attention. Warren, I don't have to do anything for you. You have never been nice to me, and as far as I can tell, you're not nice to anyone else either. What? Yeah, you're a rich snob. You're rude to everyone, and you lied to me. I'm not a snob. Sure, you're not. I'm not a snob. If you can look past my one character flaw and get me out of here, that'd be your great. Your one character flaw? Are you serious? My point is, I need your help. Yeah, you do. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of yours? I don't even notice you're not. But Mac has no regard for human life except for one exception. That one exception just walked through our door. He's going to kill us. Now, if we don't shoot his daughter, Warren goes home, we get off, and the only pressure is between Mac and Sophie. So that's what this is. Your chance to get Warren out of here. Yes. Yes, it is. Because I don't want to kill him. I don't want you to kill him. And I kind of want to live. Do you like him as a person? Not really. But he still doesn't deserve to die. This isn't about deserves, Nick. This is our job. And we're going to follow through on it. Mac can deal with Sophie or whatever her face is when she goes home. Come on, please. Listen, I'll get you out, but on my terms. I don't trust those two. How do you know Nick? I don't want to talk about it, but he's, he's not a good person. I don't think he's that bad. What? What is that supposed to mean? Okay, there's a lot to say, but clearly right now's not the time. It's gonna have to wait till after. All right, guys, time's up. You can go home now. I can go home whenever I want to. Do you want to go home now? As a matter of fact, I do. Do us all a favor and go to Matt. Kill us. You're disgusting and I hate you. Dad, wake up. We need to talk. I really cannot believe this. I really, really cannot believe this. I can explain. Oh, you can explain. Yes. Okay, then explain. Explain to me why there is a kid duct taped to a chair with a hole in his leg 20 miles from here in a warehouse that you pay for being watched by guys that you pay to watch him. It's not going to sound like it, but I have a perfectly good <laughs> there reason. There is no way there is a good explanation for this. I... Years ago, years ago, Warren, his dad, and me were, were in business together. He's a, he's a terrible person. And he owed me millions of dollars. And we were trying to negotiate. I was trying to get it back. And in the middle of all of that, Warren just kind of got swept up in all of this. I, I wish it hadn't happened. I'm sorry. He wasn't even really supposed to be. It was more just like a liability. A liability? That was the wrong word. No, I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so what? You were gonna kidnap his son to make sure he'd pay you, and if not, you're gonna, you're gonna kill him? No, 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 no. There was no, no, no. We were never gonna kill him. Uh, listen, his dad is, is terrible. He's an evil man. 
and, and you don't understand all of this and the way the world works, but, but people like that, you can't just negotiate with. You can't just talk to. That's repulsive. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, except that this really is just between his dad and I. I can't believe you'd do something like this. You can't believe I would do something like this? Sophie, you've known for a long time that what I do isn't completely legal. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why I keep telling you to not ask questions. I know, I knew that. But this is different. I was at the warehouse. I saw this is a whole new level of illegal and bad. You're not just a criminal. You're... How did I not see this? See what? He is duct taped to a folding chair. He's been shot in the leg and his face is covered with blood and dirt. What? Those idiots. Ah, uh, you, uh, you met. You met the guys at the where? Yeah. I met, I met the one. You know I already knew Nick. Boy, I'm, I'm so sorry. They, I hired those guys to take Warren to the warehouse and to keep him safe. Okay? I never said anything about tying him up or, or putting his face in the dirt or anything like that. I, I bought the warehouse for a totally different project and, and it just was a good place to put him, to keep him safe. And, and now you're telling me that he was, he was shot? That's, oh, that's awful. I, listen, I, this cannot stand. I, I will make this right, Sophie. I, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make sure that Warren is safe, okay? He's gonna be safe. And that, and that we get him back to his dad. That's my goal, that's my ultimate goal. And, and then I'm gonna fire those two psychopaths and make sure they don't hurt anybody else. I, th this whole thing, you have to believe me, just really escalated way above what anybody could have anticipated. You lie. And All you do is lie. I saw you there. You knew. I'm, I'm calling the cops. No, listen, you cannot call the cops. Why not? All of this will go away. Uh, listen, you, we can talk about this and, and this can be something that we don't have to bring up. We can just sweep it under the rug, okay? No, we can't. Yes, we no, can't. I have to call the cops. No, no you don't. Yes, I do. No, where would you even go? You can't April's. go with your mom. I, I go to April's. Listen, do you, do you understand what happens? If, if I'm arrested, your whole world goes upside down. My whole world was just turned upside down. Okay, okay. I mean, we're not gonna figure this out tonight, okay? So, I mean, why don't we, why don't we just, all I can tell you is that we're gonna, I'm gonna fix this tomorrow. I can't, I can't do anything about it right now, okay? Th this can't wait. I don't trust you. Enough just for a day, okay? Just give it a couple hours. It, it can't wait. I'm not gonna let this go. I know, I know you're not. And that's why I, I need your phone. <laughs> what? Yep. I'm not going to give you my phone. Give me the phone. No. Sophie, I am not asking. Just for a little while. Just until we can sort this whole thing out. You'll see, I'm right. We'll think about this very differently tomorrow, okay? I love you, sweetie. What? Where's Creed? Oh, don't ever wake me again. He's outside. We're taking turns waiting for Mac.
What, what do you think is going to happen? Why, why'd you give me the nail? Because Creed is going to kill you. When? As soon as we get the money. Sorry, kid. It's going to kill you, too. Yeah, probably. Then you can help me get out of here. Sorry, kid. I still have a shot here. Please. I'm sorry. I won't stop you if you do, though. Here we go. Nick, Creed, are you holding up? Blood out yet? How selfie. None of your business. Let's get this phone call over with. You're on borrowed time. Yeah. Daniel, there he is. Warren, you're. I'm alive. I was afraid. How's the money coming? It should be ready within a couple of hours. You don't want. You don't want to look for other options. Negotiate. Hey now, hey. Warren, is everything all right? I I don't really know how I'm supposed to answer that. I'm sorry. No, don't don't apologize. I I never did. I I should have. Warren. I love you, Dad. Three hours, Daniel. That's what you have. Goodbye, Warren Joseph. Sophie! I'm going to April's. No, no, you're going to school. That's funny. You need to go to school. No, I'm going to April's. Fine. I'll drive you there. I know what you're doing. I'll drive myself. I want my phone back, too. That's not going to happen. Fine, then you won't drive me. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Let's just take let's just take a deep breath and talk about this. We we had a fight last night. We're both just trying to figure all this out. Listen. I told you that I was going to take care of this, and I am. As we speak, Warren is being taken home, okay? So there's no need for you to go to the warehouse. Why would I even want to go to the warehouse? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what you want right I want now. nothing to do with this. Now let me go and leave me alone.
The other 1.7 million was just front spots, so. So. Thanks, Jake. Yeah. Look, Mr. Gray, I know you're probably worried right now, but everything's gonna be okay. All right, yeah. we'll get Warren back here safely tonight. It's just something doesn't feel right. Well, have you spoke to him since the last time you guys connected? Just now, but I don't know. I'm just worried, that's all. So, you don't have to be worried. Um, I haven't let you down yet. I've never lied to you. And I can promise you right now that Warren will be back here safely by tonight. There's just one last thing. Uh, I need to send the rest of the money. So, shall I begin the transfer? Have it done in an hour. You got it. Listen, guys, you don't have to do this, okay? It's not my call. It, it is, though. Fine, then. It is. And I'm gonna do it. Better than this, okay? You're gonna regret shut this up. for the rest of your life. I said shut up! For Warren's release, yes. What do you have to bargain with? I have everything. I have everything on you, your friends, and my dad. I don't think your dad's gonna be happy when he finds out you were here. Should I give him a call? I wouldn't do that. Look, we can talk See, about See, I have everything. I can't give you Warren. You don't want to, but you will. No, sir. Understood. I'm gonna see what's going on. Nick, please, please. Nick, Nick, you can't leave me here. Nick, please, you can't leave me here. It's gonna be okay, kid. Nick, get back here, you can't leave me here right now. Nick, get back here. Just in time. Can you take care of this? What are you doing here, Sophie? I don't want to talk to him. It doesn't matter. You're going to have to. Nick, you'll negotiate. I'm going to keep you alive. Creep, quick! Get out of my way. If you want to kill him, you're going to have to kill me. I don't want to kill you. I know. Give me everything. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I, I didn't want the gun because I didn't want anyone to get hurt. I didn't, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm so sorry.
So, um, where are you gonna go? I'm gonna turn this in. Smart. Um, but what I meant was, where are you gonna live? I have a friend. I think you know her actually. April? Oh. Um, yeah, April. Um, if you ever need a place to stay though, sorry about your dad. There is a lot to be sorry for. I always knew my dad wasn't necessarily a good person. Like, I knew he did illegal things and things that weren't technically right. But I always thought it was like tax evasion or theft or something. I never thought it'd be murder, kidnapping. If I had known all that, I would have done this a lot sooner. I wish I had known, so I wouldn't have been lied to. But I'm happy I got to live the life for a while, I guess. I don't know. That's been a rough week. Got that right. Thanks. You know, somehow I didn't expect to get that from you. Hey, who are you? I'm a witness. Do you have a phone I can use? Oh uh, yeah, yeah I do. Uh, Elaine, can you see to this? <laughs> Come with me. All right, thanks guys. Okay, let's go. Um, they should be here in like 10 minutes. You did do the right thing, you know. I know. What else can I help you with? I can handle everything. Well, your life is going to get a lot messier from now on, so you're, you're gonna have to let us help you. It, it's always been messy, but I'll eat if I need anything. Okay. Thank you. What do you have in your hand? Foreign gave it to me as a thank you. Really? Wow. Doesn't sound like Warren. That's what I thought too. Mm. Creep. Come on. Pick up the phone. Turn on some music. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when